How you doing everybody? Welcome to Stand Focus for Jesus. Hope you're having a blessed day. To start off right, repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the message. Uh, that's the most important message that I can give or any Christian who was a follower of Jesus Christ can give. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This uh, video may seem a little bit off to you. But those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, you will understand what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to share a video, but before I share that video, I want to give you a few scriptures to set the tone. In Luke chapter 8, verse 17, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad as the famous saying says what's done in the dark will come to the light get it from the bible just in case y'all didn't know that but um so whatever is hid there will nothing that's going to be secret it's all going to come out rather it comes out now or rather it comes out later i just pray that whatever skeletons you have in your closet that you go ahead and get rid of them now by bringing them to the throne of god through jesus christ giving him your sins because he paid the price for your sins and letting him cast them as far as way as the uh as the sea from east to, from the east to, from the west because you bring those sins and all those things that you have hidden throughout the years of your life and you bring them by yourself with your self-righteousness and those skeletons that you hid from everybody else the light which is Jesus Christ is going to manifest those things it's not going to be pretty but Go with me to Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. Matter of fact, let's watch the video and then we'll get back to the scriptures.
All right, everybody. What you just saw was a video of a fake ISIS beheading. And many of you know that ISIS is created by the American government. That's already been proven. But that right there is just more evidence. Now, let me say this right here to clear up a few things because I know what some people are going to think. Am I saying that all of the beheadings, as we know, uh, Christians are being martyred over in the Middle East that they're fake? No, I'm not saying that. I know that there are events around the world that do happen for real. I know that Christians are being killed. But <coughs> we got to look at the bigger picture. Why? Why are they faking this? That's something big to fake. Fake a beheading and then put it all on national TV. I mean, after watching that video, you can't sit there and say that that is, it wasn't fake. As far as when you see it on TV and you just watch this video of them recording it. It got to get the clogs, the wheels and the mind going some type of way. I pray it does. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 he reads, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? The video that you just seen in this scripture that I just read, this is one of the main reasons I'm so against what Christians call entertainment. The stuff you see on TV. Because it serves a bigger purpose. One of them is to keep the sheeples asleep. Continue to have them asleep. So uh, Christians who are truly born again, they get caught up in the world with different things and they they can't witness. They can't preach the gospel because they're too busy with everything else. If they went this far to fake this. How much farther do you think they went? Or how much further do you think that they will go? But many of you have seen the video or seen the clip of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the ISIS beheading and many of you have said it was fake. You didn't believe it was real. But yet they had it on national TV. If they went that far to fake that, if Satan went that far because that's who's behind it, if Satan went that far to fake that, to instill the fear then how much further do you think that he has went and that he will go? The only fear that you ha should have, fear, respect, reverence, is of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, God Almighty. Don't fear man, don't fear Satan. You can be fearing God, that's what a fear needs to reside. And it's sad to say that the world is the way it is because there's no fear or respect of God. But there will come a time and point where God will reveal himself uh, very, 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 very soon. It's not going to be pretty. Now you may be asking, what is the point? Of me showing that clip. If you go with me to Galatians chapter 6, <coughs> I 
Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You continue to sow to lies, then you will continue to reap lies. And you will continue to receive lies. If you continue to support false teachers, false prophets, those who tickle your ear, your itching ears and give you what you want to hear, that's what you will continue to receive. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Go with me to Proverbs chapter 12. I love God because he'll give me a sermon off of anything and he'll line up with the word of God. I take no credit for this stuff. I give all the glory to God Almighty. I give all the glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. But Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to Psalms chapter 118 verse 8. Psalm chapter 118 verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord <coughs> than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Let me repeat that because this is what it's all getting to. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Where does your trust lie and that's the main that is the message of this sermon where does your trust lie you're trusting in what you see on TV you're trusting in your entertainment you're trusting in your job you're trusting in your 401k you're trusting in your social security your retirement you're trusting in yourself or are you trusting in the Lord Let's go back to Galatians and go to chapter 3, starting at verse 6. Excuse me. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith. Preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 so then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God where does your trust lie where is your faith at is your faith in Jesus Christ You can take this book, you can go through it, and people claim that they disprove it, but 
they don't disprove the Bible because the Bible it proves itself just like recently with the same sex marriage being passed if this book is out of date but in Isaiah it gives a scripture about them being proud of uh, their sins that are like Sodom and Gomorrah hmm. over and over again this book proves itself this is the word of God this book is alive do you think the Holy Spirit shows me these things for no reason he shows me these things for a reason we'll close with one more scripture go with me to 2nd Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11 Let's start at verse 10. Matter of fact, let's go up to verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved <coughs> excuse me let's read verse 10 again and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved verse 11 and for this cause God God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. If you think the deception is bad now, think that video was bad because it is deceptive this is nothing if you think you're arrogant enough to think that you will have a moment to get right with God when as they say it hits the fan you're lost prideful in your arrogance I come to you day today as a Christian I come to you humbly asking that you seek God's mercy seek God's grace which is Jesus Christ today not tomorrow, not later, but today. Because God himself is going to send a strong illusion that you should believe the lie. Because you rejected the truth over and over and over and over and over again. You rejected Jesus. You sold to the flesh and you're going to reap the flesh. And as the scriptures say, no good thing dwells in his flesh except sin. And sin leads to death. 
But many of us who are born again, this flesh is just a body now. My soul and my spirit are not a part of this flesh anymore. This flesh will pass away and my spirit and my soul will move on. And I will receive a new body. If this body was good, then I wouldn't need a new body. An incorruptible body. Putting on immortality. It sounds pretty good to me. How about you? God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name. And as always, stay focused with Jesus.